I really liked Cotton, and I think he respected me, and he liked me also. And he knew that I wasn't getting any playing time in Buffalo, and Adrian Danley was there, and I wasn't going to get any playing time behind Adrian because they were going to let him play every minute of the game. He had the stamina and the body to do that. And the only thing Buffalo had going in their favor right then was Adrian Danley. He was rookie of the year, thanks to Ernie DiGregorio giving him the ball on every play. Ernie really took care of him. What a great guy Ernie is, too, I was blessed to play with. And uh, um, so Cotton traded me to Detroit because he wanted Marvin. He felt that he could get Marvin back to the old Marvin days. (laughs) And uh, (laughs) so he traded myself and John Shoemate to Detroit. And then, you know, the next year, Cotton was fired from Buffalo, became a head coach of Kansas City. And then when Detroit let me go, uh, Cotton picked me up right after training camp uh, and brought me in there. And I think, you know, we had a, had a bonded a little bit in Buffalo, and he, he knew all about me. He knew what kind of guy I was and what kind of player I was and everything. He thought I could fit in there. And, you know, that was those – that was a couple of really good years in Kansas city. I really enjoyed my time there. You know, it was small town compared to the, a lot of the other big ones, but you know, it was a, a, a good little close. The guys on the team were really great there. And, uh, and we had a good bond. We did a lot of things together as groups, as a team. A lot of times teams go off the court to get your own separate ways or whatever, but that Kansas city team, we, we did a, did a lot of things together as a team, which was really nice. It was kind of like a college almost atmosphere as far as bonding with your teammates and stuff, which doesn't happen a lot in the pros. 